everybody, so I have created this. And it's going to be a bit of a list of parts, really, because, um, well, I don't want my videos to be half an hour long when the first 29 minutes is repeating what I do in every other video, so I tend to break it up. So the first thing you're going to need is a serpentine coil. Now this is a 0.1mm wire and it's 400 turns of it and we went through coil making in video 1859. So if you want to know how to make this, review video 1859. Dead simple, wind it round and round, wrap some tape and make sure it's the right size. I go through video 1859 on how to make sure it's the right size. The next thing you're going to need to know about is the maglev system that we talked about in video 1874. 1874 we did a demonstration of maglev using a Savonius turbine and I've got a maglev system in this so to pick up on that maglev then watch that video but it's basically very simple there's a ring magnet here there's a ring magnet there and there's a spike in the middle to stop it shooting off the two magnets force each other apart the last thing you're going to need is 1868 and in video 1868 we talk about the basic generation system this generation system is generation on the rim, not generation on the axle. So we don't have to fit anything to the axle. All the magnets are glued around the rim. The serpentine coil goes in there. You pop that one on top and that one on top and we will generate on the rim of the generator rather than having to attach everything to the axle and get loads of connections, gearings and motors. We don't need to do any of that. And that makes it super, super simple. Okay, this in itself is actually just two parts. Let's have a look at the Tinkercad file. Okay, here are the Tinkercad drawings and you can see it's basically two parts. If we look at the yellow part first, the little stubby bits where the coil goes, that indentation there is where the magnet drops in and that is for the axle, that hole through there. So the yellow bit is just those three bits. We look at the blue bit then obviously we're using a squirrel cage to be our turbine and you'll notice that's the bit where the magnet goes in. These are the bits where the little magnets go in pointing north, south, north, south and they are one millimeter by one centimeter N35 neodymium magnets. This hole here takes a bearing. Now I almost exclusively use skater bearings which are 22 mil by 7 mil by 8 mil because they're cheap and they're absolutely everywhere and they do a pretty decent job. Although for these bearings I did in fact choose the ceramic skater bearings that you can get. And that's it. There's just those two parts that you need to print off and stick together. Now Tinkercad you can get these files if you're logged in so you have to have an account. I did try setting up a um, Thingiverse account but for some reason it completely failed so I will give it another go I also think I've worked out how to do links to Tinkercad so I'll put a link to these drawings in the actual um, description of the video to help you get them if you want them oh you need to remember the name Magnet so we print out two parts we've got our coil and you need to buy some of these these are ceramic magnets they're just ring magnets that I got from Amazon and they're 10 centimeters uh, 10 millimeters thick 72 millimeters outside diameter, 32 millimeters inside diameter, and they drop rather nicely into that space right there. That bar is eight millimeters thick. It's just a bit of steel bar I got from the local B&Q. Now we need two of those magnets because one goes in there in that recess and the other goes in that recess. And you need to point them north facing north, or like faces facing each other. If you point them the wrong way around, they'll just stick together. So if you hold them and they're pulling, they're the wrong way. Swap them round and you'll find that they push and the right, they are the right way. And that one drops in with that face up there. Now all we've got to do with that is stuff our coil in which we've made previously. So that's it, that's done. This one, other ring magnet in there, your N35's around there and that's done. And then we can put the coil in and drop that on there. So to put the coil in, all you do is match up the two bits of black tape you've done so you make a nice little bend in it and go around the whole thing and that coil will slot in that position there. Okay, that's the coil in. It can be a little bit fiddly but you'll get it in there. And once you've done that we can just drop this bit on there. There we go. And we're ready to go. Now if you don't like magnetic bearings, just replace the magnetic bearing with a thrust bearing. But what you need to do with that now is get it in some wind and see what it does. 
Okay, so we're outside sitting on the wall in a very slightly breezy day and we've got it lighting in LED and it's spinning just fine as it happens. That is awesome. Hmm, how about that? Okay, that's some much use to the chocolate teapot. Let's go see some numbers. So I've got a fan on it and that fan is about 3.4 meters per second. It's uh, 180 high, 150 across. We're getting about four and a half volts. Okay, well I, I think it's really cute and I thought that was a really cute thing because we got this actually producing something in, well, next to no wind at all. I mean, I couldn't actually measure it on the anemometer because it was too slow, really. Um, but we put it on the meter, uh, sorry, on the fan at 3.4 meters per second so we get some idea of how it actually performed. Now you've got to remember that when you have a low wind like that you won't get much power out because there's no power in a low wind. Um, in England though, we have a sort of a 4, 4.5 meters per second average wind speed. And that's why I tend to focus on these ones that need a slow start speed because we just don't get that many hurricanes. But inevitably what I'm going to get asked is, what do you do about a hurricane? Well, in a hurricane you could just do that, in which case nothing's going to happen. You get warnings a hurricane is coming, just pick the rotor off and that will sit there. Because this bit of, is in the... Um, uh, atmosphere in, in the environment and um, if you're worried about this well pour some potting compound in there and that'll seal the whole thing and it will basically last forever and then when your wind hurricane is done there we go <laughs> stick it back on and you're ready to go so I thought it performed really quite well, given what it is and given the situation it has. And I think it's quite a neat sort of combination here with the squirrel cage and the flat pack pancake generator that we've got as an all-in-one version. And you can clearly put lots and lots of things on here, whatever your favourite is. If it's Savonius, if it's a Grinsky, if it's squirrel cage, if it's a fan, whatever it is. The whole point of this is to show a different style of incorporating the generator unit into the wind capture unit and what maglev will do and if you don't like maglev well use a thrust bearing eh? main thing is to um, experiment and see what you can come up with because I don't see this as a finished thing I see this as a suggestion on how we can improve it and what could we do in order to make it better but I do think it's very cute so I hope you enjoyed the video thank you very much for watching and Please do remember to like and subscribe.